Good morning, ASM. I'm Nicole. And I'm Elena. Today is April 4th, and happy Ramadan to those who celebrate. For those who don't, Ramadan is a holy month of fasting for the Muslim faith, celebrating as a month in which Muhammad received the first revelations that make up the Quran, the holy book. This weekend at the Final Four, there was some big local news. Isn't that right, Tanner? Yes, it was announced that ESM and Larry Costello will be inducted into the Naismith National Hall Basketball Hall of Fame, but more on that during sports. In what do we have, Doug? Estelle Harris died at age 93 of natural causes. She was an actor for Seinfeld playing the mother role, also the voice for Mrs. Potato Head in the popular film called Toy Story. She will live on in the hearts of her fans and her three children, three grandsons, and her great-grandchildren. Rome police say they are looking for two males who tried to light a house on fire this weekend but failed. The pair doused the front porch of 7029 George Street with an unknown flammable substance then made a trail leading to the driveway with a lit tr trail on fire. The fire was ne never made it to the porch. Rome police and firefighters responded to the grass fire at the home of North George Street at about 9.45 p.m. Saturday during the investigation. Police determined two unknown males that set the fire. Police are now asking neighbors to check their cameras. Satellite images taken Thursday of last week show a particularly excavated mass grave outside the church in Bucha near the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. The photos taken March 31st by Maxer Technology show a 45-foot-long trench located near two churches where the bodies of Ukraine civilians are being removed by officials. It is unclear how many bodies have been removed from the gravesite, but Moscow Times reported 57 people who have been buried there. May Mayor Antony Forek said officials in Bucha have officially buried 280 people in the mass graves. Amid reports Russian troops are withdrawing and say the streets are littered with corpses. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congratulations to the JV Winter Guard, Varsity Winter Guard, and Winter Percussion Ensemble members on great performances at the championships this weekend. If you miss their performances, come check them all out for one final time tonight at 6 p.m. at the Central High School. Everyone has a great program, and they are definitely worth watching. Go Spartans! For today's show, we have a recap of the 64th Grammy Awards, which took place last night. For the best traditional pop vocal album, we have Love for Sale by Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Winning Best Pop Vocal Album was Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. The Best Rock Song was Waiting on a War by Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins, Remy Jaffe, Nate Mendel, Chris Schiffett, and Pat Smear, Songwriters, Foo Fighters. For Best Rock Album was also won by Medicine and Midnight by the Foo Fighters. Additionally, the Foo Fighters Awards were bittersweet due to the recent death of their drummer, Taylor Hawkins. The Foo Fighters had been scheduled to perform at the show prior to the Hawkins passing. Tributes were paid by Trevor Noah in what was originally his announcement at the Foo Fighters set and a shirt worn by Billie Eilish during her performance of her Happier Than Ever. For rec rec Today we won't have clear skies because we'll mainly be hit by a little bit of rain and snow has already passed us so we're not expected to get any snow but expect some rain today. Now on to our seven day. Today we will have a high of 45 and a low of 32. Tomorrow will be much warmer with a high of 16 and a low of 38. And Wednesday we'll keep that trend before Thursday starts to lower into a high of 49 and a low of 40. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Hey, 
defend your class. Don't forget to bring in your coins to participate in the penny battle. One penny equals one point for you, but if you put a silver in for someone else, they lose. Good luck. <laughs> Record of the year was when to leave the door open by Silk Sonic. The album of the year was We Are by John Batiste. Song of the year was also Leave the Door Open by Brandon Anderson, Christopher Brody Brown, Dernst Demille II, and Bruno Mars, also known as Silk Sonic. And the best new artist was Olivia Rodrigo. T Tiger Woods said he'd be a game-time decision for this week's Masters after he's making his way back from a horrific car accident in February of last year. The South Carolina, South Carolina women's basketball team won the program's second national title, beating UConn 64-49. North Carolina faces Kansas in the men's national title after ending Coach K's illustrious career, beating Duke 81-77. North Carolina is the fourth AC team to make the championship game in history. The, basketball, the baseball team lost to Camden 13-11. to Dylan Clark started the game with a big two RBI triple. ESM alum Larry Costello will be inducted into the Naismith National Hall of Basketball Hall of Fame. Costello was a six-time All-Star and an NBA champion. He led the NBA in free throw percentage twice. He started his coaching career at ESM, then coached professional for the Syracuse Nationals and the Milwaukee Bucks, and finished coaching career at Utica College. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Fun fact about that picture we just showed, it was the first basketball game ever played at the high school, which was recently constructed then in 1965. That's all we have for you today. Ramadan Mubarak to those who celebrate. And from me, Nicole, and everyone else at The Morning Show, have a great day, and remember, the Grammys are always rigged. <laughs>